Hello, this is Anna at Nautilus Yacht Management. Today we are going on a big journey. We're currently in New Zealand uh, where we have another base, but I'm about to jump in a plane and head off to Fiji where uh, I'm going to have a look at the boat we've actually put on the market about 10 days ago, but uh, I felt that having a video done for this boat would just be really nice to bring her to life to, for prospective buyers anywhere in the world um, that they happen to be looking for such a boat. Um, the boat is Hello World. It's a beautiful Leopard 48 from 2013. Um, there's been three owners. The first owners were a charter company in Turkey, uh, which was uh, which purchased the boat brand new in 2013. Unfortunately, there was a little bit of upheaval at the time. And uh, well, tourism didn't really do strongly in Turkey at the time, so they had the boat out of the water for for a, uh, quite some time, I believe almost a year. And then after almost another year of this, they decided to ship the boat um, to the Caribbean. So they put the boat on a ship and sent it over there. Um, and this, the boat was purchased by her current owner who uh, decided to go sailing with his family. So he fitted her out for a very comfortable offshore cruising. And uh, so he did a lot of upgrades at that time. Then they journeyed all the way to Tahiti. Um, in Tahiti, they spent some time on the boat during the COVID period. And then eventually um, they had to get back to work. So the owner is currently in Singapore working and living over there. Um, so the boat stayed in Tahiti. Uh, they were trying to find a way to keep the boat in the family, but obviously it's a big expense. So they thought, perhaps we could set up a charter company. So they, they, they started to set that up as a luxury crude uh, skipper um, charter. So they had a, a skipper who was uh, who became partner with the, the ownership of the boat. And um, and that's someone that they knew well and they knew they could trust and, and a crew on board. And uh, just before they were about to start with uh, the bookings, um, the skipper became very sick and had to get back to France um, so that threw a big spanner in the work and um well the owner decided that he couldn't really continue with the charter enterprise because he thought without having someone i know on the boat and reliable crew it's just going to be too hard to manage from singapore as more or less a salon partner he already has a lot on his plate so so that's it i mean he bought back his chair from the skipper the other owners and um and then he said well i think uh, we should sell it so he got in touch with me uh, a couple of months ago and said uh, what should we do we had a look at his uh, situation in tahiti unless the boat was going to be put in charter um it had a problem with uh, the continuation of the cruising permit so um so we said okay well best thing to do is to bring the boat to fiji where there is no time pressure and we can uh, closely monitor her and also we have reliable people over there who can who can um take care of the boat and also bring her to the to the level of uh, you know presentation that our company really insists on we have very very strict criteria for the boat that we list so a very good friend of ours and uh, excellent skipper from australia went over there and and, uh, with one of the crew took the boat to Fiji. They had a great trip, very uneventful. Um, they, uh, they had no problems with the boat at all. Um, then they arrived in Fiji and uh, about uh, two weeks ago. And so we started to work um, to put together the listing for Hello World. Um, so um, going to Fiji um, is really exciting because I have seen the boat in photos and I've spoken a lot with the skipper and the owner and looked at all the specs and looked at all the, the list of things that have been done to it. But uh, obviously um, it would be good to have a good look on the ground. So that's where we're going right now. Wish me luck and I hope the weather is as nice as here. I hear it's raining a lot over there. So let's go. Well, here we are in Fiji at Savu Savu uh, Nawi Marina, which is a brand new marina, which is really beautiful, just in the back there. The boat is currently on one of their moorings. The skipper is on board and working all day to uh, bring this boat to the next level. She was a little bit grimy uh, when uh, when he arrived on board in Tahiti, as she had been um, without anyone on board for a couple of months. And um, so he's been doing a lot of uh, cleaning and polishing, although he did everything by hand. So we are getting the boat polished with a machine, which uh, will bring up the gel coat a lot nicer. Um, the hulls have also been cleaned before leaving Tahiti and after arriving. So she's nice and clean. 
Um, we will step on board in a minute, but we'll just give you a little look from the outside for the time being. Um, so this is your classic Leopard 48 2013 version with a forward cockpit, which is a big winner. Everyone loves the forward cockpit, especially in the tropics where you can, you know, be in the breeze and be a bit cooler up there while you're still in the shade. And also you can have that door open to create a fantastic cross ventilation on the boat. Um, the boat has uh, three different air conditioning systems anyway, which are very recent from 2019. So they do make a, they do a really great job to make the boat nice and cool inside. Other great improvements on Hello World were the stunning rigging, which was fully replaced between 2019 and 2022. There is also a new main cell and Genoa that were installed in 2019, which are in great condition. And the old sails are actually in bags inside the boats and the skipper had a good look at them and said they're also very good. So you've got two full set of sails here, as well as uh, Jenniker, which is in great condition, except so you'll see on the photos that there is some stains, but there is no otherwise any damage as far as stitching or uh, damage to the fabric. Um, the boat also comes equipped with a 3.4 meter rib high fill tender, uh, which is really quite new. It's protected on the cover, but we took the cover off and it looks really good underneath all that. Other improvements is a beautiful stainless steel plancher, which is a French style barbecue, which is uh, sitting on the back of the cockpit. The boat also comes with 1720 watts of solar power, which was new in 2019, washing machine, ice maker, dishwasher, and diving equipment, which includes a Bauer dive compressor. The entire upholstery was replaced in 2021, and the owner is uh, currently addressing the outside upholstery to, have re to replace some of the cushions, which uh, are, um, have got some damage to them. All right, let's step on board. So here we are in the cockpit of Hello World. You can see the opening hatch over there, which is fantastic also to let in the breeze. And uh, the upholstery was replaced in 2019. Most of it is in good condition. However, there are some cushions which are showing some signs of wear, including one that actually has a tear in it, something sharp has fallen on it. But the owner has contacted our local sailmaker in PG, who is a really excellent and who will uh, replace those items. Here we have a direct access onto the life raft. The deck are this uh, artificial tick, which is wonderful. It's not as hot on the foot as regular tick, and it's very low maintenance. It's still in really good condition. The steering station and walking onto the deck, nice and wide, easy to, to walk about in all weather and safely with uh, quite high life frames. All of the hatches are flush mounted, so there's nothing to, uh, to stumble against. And finally, the trampoline, which is also new from 2019. A little look at the forward cockpit. Um, same thing, the upholstery is mostly in good condition, but the rest will be um, remedied um, by the seller. And uh, looking forward, you can see um, the trampoline, a, little, a few stains on it, but in really good condition. That will all be pressure wash as part of the preparation for the handover. Um, as you know, with the Leopard 48, there is a lot of storage in those big hatches um, forward. Um, they mostly they have a, a big space for the water tanks, but also plenty of storage for other items. And this is the other one with the generator, which is also new from 2019. The boat has, um, t has just arrived in Fiji, but they are burning sugarcane at the moment, which brings quite a lot of uh, grey dust, which um, unfortunately sticks quite fiercely to the gel coat. So that will have to be um, pressure washed again, even though it was pressure washed only a few days before I made this video. The Genoa cover and the Genoa are all both from 2019 and in good condition, same as the sail cover and the, the main sail. We are now at the helm of the boat, which is a raised position, so not quite a flybridge, but a really good position actually not to impede on the amount of sail area, which is reduced for the flybridge. Gives you an excellent view over the deck and also into the cockpit, so you can keep an eye on your guests or your family, and they can also feel a bit close to you. Um, the bench, uh, the helm's bench actually sits three people comfortably. It's, it's a very good, very comfortable bench for long watches. Um, so yeah, very good um, angle to see everything that's going on beneath you and to communicate with your crew. 
all of the ropes on this boat, all of the of all the lines are run back to the cockpit so that you don't have to venture on deck. On one of the videos we show the, the delivery skipper holding the the halyard for the spinnaker by hand, but that was only just to because he likes doing this, so that's not exactly necessary. That can all be done from the cockpit. Looking at the interior, you will see the table can come down to convert into a nice big lounge area that was actually used quite a lot during the, the delivery. All the upholstery here and is in very good condition and so is the tick work. That is a forward cockpit which is also lined with that lovely flexi tick covering. The gel coat is mostly in excellent condition. There's just a couple of areas which has a couple of dings which uh, really just two or three that's all for the entire boat and they are very small they have been filled with gel coat but they still need to be fared walking back inside we can now see the back of the galley which is uh, where the fridge and freezer are they are really nice and still drawers with large capacity the white parts of the timber work that you can see are actually just a vinyl covering which uh, is actually in the process of being removed as i speak we asked the owner why that was there and he said that uh, the lady who was the previous owner really didn't like having so much timber around and she was she just wanted to cover it up. But uh, we're in the process of removing this and beneath it, the timber work is actually in very good condition. So if anything that has protected the timber. Um, the skipper is now hard at work removing everything. Chick removals coming along. This was all stickers on it. Just some places I have to undo, you know, the EPIRB around the switches. And this goes all up in the back there. I don't know whether I just cut it neatly with a knife or remove this panel to get it, peel it right back. But you know, there's a bit of residue here and there. You know, you gotta clean up and then wipe down. But generally looking better. Removed, 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 removed. So we've got the table. Going down now into the starboard side, you'll see the washing machine and the extra fridge freezer that was installed by the owner, which, uh, which is great for um, improving the cold storage capacity on the boat, perfect for large families going cruising around the world and wanting independence. All the cabins are absolutely gorgeous. All of this really beautiful French linen is coming with the boat. Having a look in the storage, so you have a lot of storage on this boat. Um, a lot of shelves, a lot of um, different areas to put so you put all these in pieces and keep everything organized. There are no leaks anywhere, none of the hatches are leaking. There is no water damage or moisture damage, which often happens when boats have been kept in the tropic for a long time. But because this boat was in Europe for uh, half of its life, it, uh, it obviously didn't have that fate. Going forward, there is this is one of the guest cabins. Each one of the of the cabin has their own um, ensuite shower area, which is very spacious and very convenient. Here you can have a look at it, a little look inside it. It's all very fresh and clean, as there is no mold anywhere, and uh, the gel coat, timber work, and all of the fittings are in very good condition. The toilets are all electric. Looking back here, we can see one of the vents for the air conditioning. And this is the other head area, which is adjacent to the stateroom. All of the stateroom have their own door, which encloses the cabin and the head area together, so that if you get up at night to go to the bathroom, you don't have you have a door there for privacy. So the, the boat comes with everything, so even including very, very beautiful kitchenware, silverware, um, dinnerware, etc. <clears throat> which is great, you can just step aboard and you have everything there, even water toys, um, the, the, the surfboards, and um, etc. Everything's coming, so it would be good if you wanted to come and have a look and, and look into all of the storage areas <laughs> and see what's there. Whatever was not needed or didn't uh, wasn't exactly super beautiful was removed anyway but uh, these were not yeah you probably can have plenty of space then to put all your things in there and the so owner's personal effects were removed as well so 
Okay. Now we can see briefly because the boat was prepared to be in commercial operations, there were some very strict requirements there for safety. So they had to add automatic fire uh, fire response uh, extinguishers, which just start by themselves in case there was a an engine fire or any kind of fire in those engine compartments, which also are large storage areas for storing oil or any any consumables that uh, that uh, can be stored there using all that space. Um, there's also a solenoid um, in the galley, and there is um, several bilge pumps, automatic and manual, also to fit those requirements. This is one of the vents for the air conditioning. So three units, uh, which are just uh, spread around in the boat, meaning that you can isolate the areas that you wish to have warmer or cooler. So the, the vinyl on the table also comes off and it has kept it nice and protected. We will take all of that off. I imagine that you will want to make the boat your home and you will you can do whatever you want as far as covering or leaving the timber work to show, which I think it's, it's quite pretty anyway. This is another one of the air conditioning vent. Strategically, strategically positioned near the windows, which can sometimes become quite a warm area when the sun is at an angle. Fantastic view from the front cockpit forward. Everyone agrees that this is their favorite area to spend time in and read a book or socialize. And, um, and it's great if you have a, a lot of people on board, everyone can have their own area to just find some privacy. Let's go back outside now. Walk around the deck. This uh, surfboards are staying with the boat, as I've mentioned before. Forward in this uh, locker is a large storage area, which has all the water toys and the Jenica. We will keep it closed for now, but we will send you some photos. So we can also arrange a, a video because it's raining. We don't want to open it and uh, risk bringing some water in. So it's nice and dry. <clears throat> but we can also arrange a video call with you um, to show you through if you wish to have a, a private video tour before you jump in the plane. Uh, also, if you would like to make an offer on the boat. This boat hasn't been surveyed since last year, so it will need a fresh survey. But we can arrange this for you in Fiji, where there is the excellent facilities to take the boat out of the water. And let's have a look at the engines. So the delivery skipper has gone through them in great detail to make sure there was no problems at all. They run beautifully. One of them had trouble starting, but he realized it was because uh, one of the start battery was not happy. And so we've just installed the start battery and as they start very easily and per along. The engines are 54 horsepower Yanma, which was a factory upgrade from the standard 39 horsepower. And they are fitted to a SD50 sail drive. We feel that it's time now to replace the sails, so that uh, the next family on board Hello World will not have to worry about this uh, in the near future. So we have ordered two SD50 top and bottom sail drive sails to be replaced next time the boat comes out of the water, probably when you come over for the survey. Here is the automatic fire response, which was fitted uh, just recently as part of the preparation for commercial charter. The engine rooms are nice and clean. There is no leaks from the hatches bringing in water. There is no oil, and it's a very great space to give you plenty of room to do the maintenance. So this is it for Hello World. We will have to stop the video now, otherwise it will be too long. And uh, we hear that people don't like videos to be too long on YouTube. But obviously we can arrange with you a private video call and show you through. Uh, and also we can welcome you if you would like to come and have a look at Hello World here in Fiji and help you with the purchase. We specialize in helping cruisers and the cruising community. Uh, get started on their journey and also can help you with uh, registration, import, insurance, etc. if you wish to bring the boat home as well at the end of your journey or at the beginning. Thanks for watching!